Here with Roy Locks, former Demon, All-American defensive end for the Demons uh, a couple years ago. Uh, Roy here at the uh, the Demon Brothers Booster event tonight, and and just just talk to me what or tell me what what the Demon Brothers mean to you, maybe as a former player and now coming back and and, and getting involved with it once again uh, here tonight. Um, it's a huge deal. I think that what it does is. It's kind of bridged the gap between several decades of players and alumni. Um, we all share the same interest, kind of supporting Demon football, getting it back to what we knew. Um, also, we're good friends with Coach Lair, Coach Lockett, and those guys. And so, as a friend, you know, we're going to support them any way possible. But also, just as an alumni, you want to see it doing good. You want to help the program in any kind of way. And so, I think John got this kind of rolling. Um, and it just drew everybody together. And it's a really good deal because it's football and it's, you know, we kind of know what's going on with it. And just share ideas and mingle and rub elbows with the brass and each other. So this was a good deal, it was a good opportunity. Everybody loves crawfish. Um, it's the spring game. And so it just gives us a way to connect with the current players, Coach Laird. And like I said, just kind of bridge the gap with some of us alumni. And you know the thing about Northwestern that everybody uh, is really drawn to, drawn to, even from the very beginning, is the family type atmosphere yes. between the players, the coaches, the staff, everybody, and and that really is, in a lot of ways, the cornerstone of what you guys are doing. Yes, no, we've always been family, and it's just kind of, you know, when we got here and we we spent a lot of hours together, but it was pretty neat as a player meeting alumni, some of the guys that were here before me, and we share a lot of the same stories, um, a lot of similarities just in different eras. And so the things that they passed on to me during my time here is also what I want to try to keep going for the current players. And we are family, and it's always good. We talk on social media, and we'll see two or three people here or there, but to be all here together in one time, and it almost feels like a family reunion. And this feels, and this kind of feels like just the, the just the beginning of what what's to come. Obviously, with uh, with the new coordinators yes. and things like that, uh, with Coach Laird, that tonight the spring game from earlier today is just kind of, uh, in a lot of ways, a kickoff point. Yes, no, I agree. I think that um, just over the last day or two, it's been a lot of brainstorming, sharing ideas, um, just good things. Now, spring games means football season for us football guys, and I play defense, so anytime you can hear some hitting and see some tackling and things going, it kind of gets you excited. But I do think definitely um, through this time of change, transition with the um, new president, AD, some of the new coordinators and those things, this is a good time for us to be on campus and just find out how we can help. Were you able to watch the spring game earlier today? I definitely got to see the spring game right, so, earlier. So as a defensive player, give me your, your assessment of the Purple Swarm. Uh, definitely Swarm. That's the biggest thing. They ran to the football. Um, I know there's a few plays here that, that Coach Laird, Coach Lockett, those guys are probably going to not like. But overall, seen a lot of guys flying to the football, heard some helmets and some shoulder pads, a lot of popping, saw a lot of excitement. And that's kind of what we built on was just the Purple Swarm. And so it was good to see it in person and kind of see where they're going from here on. All right, thank you so much. No, not a problem.